Good morning, church. Welcome back to our daily devotion insight. You know, brothers and sisters, I want to share with you a, a, a two points uh, devotion entitled How to Negotiate Well, Part 1. How to Negotiate Well, Part 1 in Life. You know, Ecclesiastes chapter 3, verse 1 says, There is a time for everything and a season or purpose for every activity under the heavens. You know, to in order to negotiate well in life and uh, challenges, difficulties, good times, bad times in life, you not know, to negotiate wife in, well in life, it helps to understand what's happening on both sides of the table, the things that you and I are going through. What happened? People seldom buy a product for the reason you want to sell it. If you show more interest in making a profit than meeting their needs, you will fail. A lot of people, products sell in the market today is for profit making. But if you make a product or produce a product, uh, is to help people, is to bless people, is to strengthen people, is to make people better, you will succeed. That's what people want in life. So here are a few things to keep in mind when you uh, when when negotiating with someone in life when you face difficulty when you face people that are difficult hard people uh, face challenges whether with things with circumstances with covid with job with career or with people three things take note <clears throat> one the right attitude <clears throat> the right attitude nobody likes being taken for granted Coax or pressures. One more time. You must have the right attitude. When you work with people, when you go through times you deep people, people, you must remember this thing. Don't take people for granted. Don't coax people into doing what you want them to do and pressure them into doing things uh, that you want to see accomplished in life. Have the right attitude. Work with people, encourage people, strengthen people, walk with people. You know, through these difficult times, in whatever it may be, it could be ministry, it could be career, it could be education, it could be uh, businesses, it could even be sales or even education. Number two, the cost involved for others. The cost involved for others. When you learn to negotiate well, you need to have the right attitude, you need to know the cost involved for others. Now, there's a world of difference between negotiating with someone who has so much money that whatever the cost they can afford it or and someone who is sacrificing because they really need your product if you want a long-term customer rather than a short-term sales practice the golden rule so in everything do to others what you would have them do to you in Matthew 7 verse 12. The same thing you apply to relationship, the same thing you apply to people where you need people to encourage you, then you learn to encourage people. You need people to be generous with you, you need to learn to be generous with people. You need the people to stand with you to take and in life and in difficult time, you need to stand with them in their trying time. If you want people to always you know, be there to help you. You always give your time when people are in need. You got it what I'm trying to say? The cost involved for others. What you want to what you want others to do for you, we have to start with ourselves doing for others first. Alright? And the third thing is this proper timing. The proper timing. You know, Solomon tells us there's a time to gain and a time to lose. In Ecclesiastes chapter 3 and verse 6. Whether you're asking for a raise or trying to sell a product or trying to make a build a friendship, uh, timing is all important. When someone is hungry, lonely, angry, tired, stressed, or in a crisis, you risk losing out. Whereas if you waited for the right time, chances is you were won. You know, sometimes in life is like that. We, we, we don't wait for proper timing. You know, we, 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 we want to, you know, people to be our friends, but we are unwilling to give the time. We want people to stand with us. We are unwilling to stand with other people. 
the time that you spend with them, the finances that you have to support them, the moral support you've given to them, you know what? In their difficult time, will it will be returned in your difficult time. They will stand with you. Amen? You have warned them when you have learned, you know, to be a friend in difficult times. Does God really care about stuff like that? Yes. Proverbs 16, 11 says, The Lord wants weights and measures to be honest and every sales to be fair. Just like in businesses, just like in, in, in career, in work, in business and ministry, our time given to them must be fair as well, that we want people's time for ourselves. You know, as a follower of Christ, you want both sides to walk away feeling they were treated fairly. It's so important in our life. You want people to treat you well, you treat people fairly. If you want people to be a blessing to you, you better be a blessing to others, other people. If you want people to one day stand with you when you go to most, most difficult and trying time, you stand with them when they go through very difficult and trying time. Amen? And when you learn to negotiate this well, at the proper time, you will gain a blessing in return. Amen? God bless you. Father bless us with a great day. All this we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. You have a great day and God bless you.